Namaste everybody. Uh, before I begin, um, all the viewers of my YouTube um, vlog, may I see all of you smiling, a big broad smile of yours. And that begins my vlog beautifully well. My, my vlog today is probably one of the first few vlogs of mine and it's on experiential law of attraction. Now, I have coined this term experiential law of attraction mainly because uh, there are numerous amount of YouTube um, uh, videos and available on available for the whole public on, on uh, law of attraction. What is law of attraction? Uh, how do you practice law of attraction? What are the techniques that you can use to actually uh, manifest things that you want to in your life, manifest uh, your desires, whether it is um, uh, growing rich, whether it is, um, you know, having a dream car or whether it is um, healing a better relationship, healing a relationship or, or, or whatever that you would want to manifest or a, or a better job or better paying job or uh, progress in your business um, or, um, you know, getting good marks in your exams. Um, you can manifest anything that you want in the world. Anything is possible to manifest. Um, so there are different techniques which people have people have spoken big time on YouTube and um, I'm here to talk about what I experienced uh, as a practitioner of law of attraction um, This this is this is actually made with the intention that it could probably help those beginners of law of attraction uh, Practitioners and those people who are new to the law of attraction. It could help it could help them so that's the only intention that I'm actually doing this uh, vlog, uh, and I hope, and I'm 100% I'm, I'm sure. Um, see, I mean, I was about to use the word hope, and hope is a word which is a no-no in law of attraction. Um, I'm, I'm getting used to it there. So, but what's more important here at the moment is that um, you know my my brain wave immediately recognized that Binu, that's not the right word to use, and then I I just took a back seat and then said no, and I changed my word. So, so just, just, just observe these very nuances of uh, things on, in Law of Attraction and it works beautifully well. So I'm 100% sure that all of you uh, would find this uh, vlog of mine useful and uh, practical for you to actually practice Law of Attraction. Let me, let me take you back to um, you know, 10, 15 years back uh, when I was um, in, in, my, in my early career as a training manager for a hospitality company. And um, I had I had um, I had done so many things to for my own personal development. Uh, I had difficulty in speaking in public. I had difficulty in actually coining uh, the right words, right sentences in English. Um, I had challenges in speaking right English. Um, you know, I had uh, I had cha I had I had difficulties in uh, in having enough and more confidence and courage to. Uh, face a crowd, face face people of different caliber. Um, so 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 I used to spend uh, nights and nights actually um, writing down, uh, scribbling down how I should be and how I see myself. Um, how do I speak? Um, all that stuff. And back then, I never knew that this has any connection to law of attraction. I never knew it. I just I just did what what universe today i understand what universe actually told me to do at that at that or at that time to make myself better now today uh, very recently when i when i came across law of attraction and that and this is not exactly very recently uh, years back i had actually read about law of attraction there again it never actually impacted me so much um, as uh, as it has impacted now Recently, I read about it much more and um, I, I then started connecting that, yeah, hey, hey, Beno, um, what you are talking, what you have understood about law of attraction today is something which you were practicing at 20, 20 years back, 15 years back, 15 <coughs> years back. And that is law of attraction because you have visualized yourself into a different image of yours and you acted on it. And you use some, some methods, which is actually a formal method of law of attraction, which I never knew about it. Today I know about it. So today, I, I, when I look back and I, I thank universe and say, universe, 
you taught me this years back and today I'm realizing it is your teaching. Thank you universe, thank you universe, thank you universe. This is all what I today say. Recently, I came across this um, book, The Secret, um, Rhonda Bynes, uh, the book, The Secret. And I started uh, searching for the movie, The Secret. And I, I came across this uh, movie, The Secret. And um, my first advice to all you guys there uh, who are about to practice law of attraction, who are new to practice law of attraction, is that get hold of that movie, The Secret. Uh, you can get this one in um, Netflix or even in um, Amazon Prime and all these. I mean, you, today you can download this movie from anywhere and uh, watch that movie. I watched that movie many a times, many a times. I watched it and watched it and watched it and watched it and watched it again and again and again. My intention of watching that movie was to understand every sentence is being spoken by all those people who uh, are authors and philosophers and doctors and um, today the living being of today who had actually practiced and who had understood the secret of law of attraction. I mean, it also talks about the people who were uh, who who actually walked this planet uh, um, years back uh, in in the history, uh, like William Shakespeare, uh, Thomas Alva Edison, uh, Einstein. Um, uh, you know, think people like um, um, uh, Edison, uh, people like uh, Beethoven. Uh, all these people who had actually practiced uh, uh, law of attraction, they've understood the secret. And today's living um, legends are also, a lot of them are practicing uh, law of attraction. And you will see that in this movie, The Secret. So if you are out there to practice law of attraction, and if you're out there to manifest your desires, watch that movie right now. So after this video, you please make sure that you watch this movie and I want you to do now one thing and I want you to actually go down to my comment session uh, se section and then say that hi Fabi um, call me Fabi hi Fabi um, I am what I am going to watch the secret today I am going to watch the secret today please remember the sentence have to be present continuous tense all right there is a secret behind this and I will talk about this maybe on another video later or if you want to know about it um, please comment below and I will I will get back to you on this one um, the secret is very important second most important thing is that for those beginners please understand law of attraction is a law of the universe the universe has got various laws of the nature law of gravity is a, is one of those laws Law of gravity. How does it work? Anything that you that you lift, that you throw up, throw up, it falls down straight down, right? I mean, if you if you jump out of fifteenth floor of a building or twentieth floor of the building, whether you are a good man or an or a bad man, it doesn't matter. Universe doesn't understand whether you're good or bad. It just brings you down. It just boom. It 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 just it just brings you down. That means there is a law. Of, there's something called law of gravity. There is the gravitational force actually pulls you down. Where is that force coming from? What is that force? How does that force work? Who put that force into this universe? Uh, do you have an answer to it? Well, I don't know. I just know it. It it works. It happens, right? So if you have an, if you can understand law of gravity, you better understand law of attraction because law of attraction is another law of uh, law of the nature. So it just goes on to saying that um, uh, you, you need to understand that wherever the, wherever the attention goes, the energy flows. And wherever the energy flows, manifestation happens. Remember this and just, just, re, just, just understand this sentence once again. Wherever the attention goes, wherever your focus is, Wherever attention goes, energy flows, and wherever energy flows, manifestation happens. Let me just give you an example. You, you all, we all have in our childhood days, I mean, we all have learned for exams, right? Okay, we all have written exams. We, <coughs> we all have cleared exams. We all have passed exams, right? Whenever we had to study for exams, our focus, our attention, our concentration is on that particular subject for which we are doing an exam tomorrow, the next day, right? Whenever we have focused and attended 
paid so much of attention to that subject, our whole energy is into that. And where the whole energy goes into that, manifestation happens in terms of the results. You get good results. Now, if you don't pay so much of attention, you're not going to get that. Very clear. This is a universal law. Wherever the attention is, energy flows. And where energy flows, manifestation happens. Believe me, you, this, is, this, this works like wonders, magic. You can manifest anything that you want in the world. Go back to the movie The Secret and you will know what it is, what I'm talking about. So understand the law of attraction. That's the second advice that I have to give you. Okay. Accept that there is something called law of attraction. If you want your manifestation to work, believe that law of attraction exists like law of gravity. Once you believe that it happens, okay, as a beginner, when you, I mean, there are, there are, there are numerous, numerous techniques to, to manifest things. I mean, there are techniques like um, the quantum jumping, uh, dimension jumping, or, or you call it as two cup method. Um, there's another technique called um, affirmation technique. There's another technique called um, um, uh, manifestation med meditation. Uh, there's another technique called 5 times 55, another technique called uh, Oponopono. Um, there, there are various techniques of law of attraction to make it happen. If any of you would want me to make another uh, YouTube vlog on any of these law of attraction techniques, which I myself have practiced it, I'll be happy to, uh, pr I'll be happy to make another video for you. Please feel free to comment below uh, and say, hey Fabi, I want you to your video on so and so. So, um, uh, just, just, just have a, um, you know, have a look at, um, um, look at my forthcoming videos, and maybe I might, I might put one of those uh, techniques there out there. So if you, if you, um, if you practice any of these techniques, the other very important advice that I have to give it to you is that when I was actually practicing, I had something which I really wanted to manifest. It, it came into my mind, and I knew that, and I learned that. You have to set your intention very strong. What is the intention? I mean, what is that you really want to manifest? That intention has to be very clear. Clarity is power. Please note down in the comments saying that clarity is power. And once you set the intention, your focus and your energy and your and your feelings have to be there. I mean, your, your passion has to be there. I mean, uh, in, in, in the, the, the movie, The Secret talks about seeing that, I mean, you know, one guy, uh, Robert, who's a gay and who um, has had everything that is going negative about him. And he was actually expressing all the negative energy in him. And, and the more you put negative uh, things in your mind, the negative things will happen. All right. So your focus and your attention have to be, intent has to be very right. So you keep your intent right. Put your focus and attention to it. Put your passion to it. Put your all your energies and feelings to it. It will manifest. Okay. While I was actually practicing, and I, I had actually chosen some of these techniques to manifest what I wanted, and um, I practice this twice a day. I practice this in the morning, uh, first uh, as soon as I get up, and also in the evening before I go to uh, bed. Um, why I mean, practicing in the in the in the daytime it, it, it kind of works wonders because uh, when you get up from the sleep uh, you're actually um, in an alpha state I mean that's different state states of brain waves that you can I mean uh, if you want to know more about the brain waves um, uh, from what I have experienced what I've learned I'll be I'll be more than happy to actually uh, talk to you uh, on this one, please comment below that you would want to know more about uh, brain waves uh, and patterns. I can talk about that on another video. Um, so you, you are in an alpha state, where is the lucid dreaming state? I mean, you you are your your thoughts are actually stand still, and you're just about to get into your thought stage. Um, that's the right time to actually uh, manifest uh, uh, manifest what you want. Um, then I realized all of a sudden, I don't know, the universe actually made me realize or so brought to my knowledge that. Beno, you have to get up at 3.30 in the morning. Now, 3.30 in the morning is, a, is, is an amazing time for manifestation. Uh, the whole world is actually sleeping at that time. You, you may be thinking that, I mean, people will be thinking that you're crazy, you're nuts. You've got nuts to get up at 3.30 in the morning and then meditate. Well, I did this. 
I got up at 3.30 in the morning, 10 minutes of meditation, because that's the time that your brain is absolutely on a theta stage or a, or a delta stage. Absolutely, nothing happens. And believe me, you, that's the time the, the universe energy is also very, very stable because a lot of people are sleeping. Thoughts are not happening. It's like, it's like Amazon delivery. When Amazon has to deliver and only to you and you're the only one uh, delivery of that day, Amazon delivers you very fast, isn't it? Because Amazon doesn't have to deliver to too many people. Similarly, that's the time that you're the only one who would need to receive. Very few people are there. So the delivery of the grace is the universal universe's grace is very, very fast. <coughs> Try and do that if possible. And, and your affirmations, your, some of your techniques can be done at 3.30 in the morning and you will, you will receive miracles. And in yogic science, they call 3.30 as a Brahma Muhurtam. Um, that's the time where the, 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 the grace is, you know, the universal grace comes to you directly through your, to your spine. Um, and I won't get into the uh, discussion of that one to a to, uh, lengthy discussion. Um, so uh, read, uh, watch the movie The Secret, accept law of attraction exists and um, practice the techniques that you learn twice a day, uh, especially and, and if possible do it at 3.30 in the morning, one of two of the techniques. And the next thing that is that we are all, we are all, our brain is screwed up, literally, excuse my French, um, brain is screwed up on, on, um, on logics because logical brain keeps questioning. Now I'm telling you to believe universe, you have not seen it, you know, you haven't seen it, right? So what happens? I mean, you, 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 you will go crazy and you say, I mean, you know, what is universe? What is it? So you will start thinking that, I mean, I'm telling you a law of attraction, believe in the universe, okay? That leave it to the universe, set it and leave it to the universe. Universe will make it happen. Manifestation happens. This is what, <coughs> what I've been telling about um, uh, in, in law of attraction. So when you set your intention that you want something, you desire something, and you put all your energy and passion and feeling to it, and you leave it to the universe to make it happen, you will start thinking, how is the universe going to make that happen? What is going to happen? What is that universe going to do to make my desire happen and manifest and make it true? This is exactly what you would think. And there's nothing wrong in thinking that because that's how you your brain is programmed over the years, over the years by the so-called teachers and books and knowledge and internet and Google and everything has given you a logical brain and, and, and law of attraction does not work on logic. I mean, it's, it's sorry, it doesn't, it, it's a different, a different dimension altogether. So for you to actually believe and trust that it takes time. How I, I, I kind of manage that is that every time when I did manifestation, I had so much of belief in law of attraction. I had so much of belief in uh, universe that universe is going to make it happen. But I used to sometimes start thinking that, I mean, how is the universe going to make it happen for me? How is it? Is the universe going to do with this, 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 this for me? Or is the universe going to, I, I, mean, I mean, I kind of started thinking about all these things. Then, then something happened to me and I said, Beno, stop it. Stop it. When these thoughts happen, it came to me saying that, Beno, stop it. And I started asking a question, who are you? Who the hell are you? What are you? You're nothing. You're nothing. You need to understand who are you. I mean, did you ever manifest your birth? Are you going to, are you going to manifest your death? I mean, when are you going to die and how are you going to die? Are you going to manifest? Are you the one who's controlling your death? If you were not the one who controlled your birth and if you're not the one who's going to control your death, there was something else which is much more powerful than you. So who are you? You're nothing. So if your birth is controlled by someone, and if your death is also going to be controlled by someone, your life is also going to be controlled by someone. So that's the universe. Everything that is happening in your life, even this moment, even the conversation that I'm doing now to you, is all designed. It's all designed to be that way. What's the movie The Secret you will know? It is designed. Your thoughts make things. Your thoughts are manifesting. 
You have positive thoughts, positive things will happen. You have negative thoughts, your negative things will happen. If you keep on thinking that I'm going to be late today, I'm going to be late today, I'm going to be late today, believe me, you take it from me, you will be late. And you can never get out of your thinking. As you are listening to me now, you are thinking. If you are reading a newspaper, you think you're reading a newspaper? Sorry, you're thinking. You're watching a, you're watching a, watching television. You think you are really watching television? Sorry, you are thinking. There is thinking every every second. You have sixty thousand thoughts every day in your in your mind. Imagine, imagine that. Now, how you ma how you actually think is it? That is what would create a manifestation. But believe me, you, you are surrounded by a lot of negative energies. This is how the world is. So it's so important that you need to understand law of attraction. You need to understand manifestation. You need to understand that your thoughts are extremely important for your life. I have realized it very late probably, not but better late than never because there are many people who have not even realized even now. I have kind of realized the importance of thoughts. And how does that help me in my my confidence level, help me in my relationship, help me in my job, help me in my health, help me in my uh, networking with people, help me in my uh, problem solving, leadership qualities, everything. It makes it makes a magnificent contribution to who you are. They, they all say that you are what you think. I mean, it's absolutely true anyway. Um, so, so you know, when there are negative things comes in, stop it saying that, stop it and, and, and trust the universe. When I had the first moment of uh, the science, when I practiced all this, you know, it never came to me. I mean, you know, people say that, you know, 24 hours time you can manifest things, 48 hours time you can manifest things, <coughs> instant manifestations and all that. Uh, believe me, you, it never happened to me. I mean, I, I never had 24 hours and 48 hours of manifestations of uh, things that I practiced and I did it. Probably, I mean, I wasn't very great in doing it or I wasn't so intense in doing it. Um, I didn't know, but, um, but, but I must tell you, the reason why I'm actually doing this vlog today is that I had a moment where universe showed me a sign telling me that the manifestation is happening. When I first was struck by this sign of what I have been desiring, I, I had an aha moment. I had an absolute aha moment. I, I, I for a moment, absolute standstill of my thoughts. And I, had, I was actually sitting in my office and my office, um, one side of my office is full of glass and which is overlooking to the blue sky. And I, I'm being blessed. Um, thank you and grateful. Uh, for having such a wonderful office which overlooks to the sky all the time and I looked through the window and uh, I, I looked up and then said universe I know that you're working I know it's your work I trust you I trust you thank you thank you thank you universe this is all what I said and that kind of made me realize that I have to trust universe come watch me and I am nothing to discuss so so remember these things uh, when you are actually practicing law of attraction um, I will end my video uh, today with this um, I hope I'm in um, I'm, I'm sorry I mean as well again hop again I'm hundred percent sure that uh, this would um, this would help um, a lot of you people to um, to manifest what you what you desire in case if uh, any of you would want my support my help my assistance uh, from my humble learnings of having experienced uh, law of attraction techniques i'll be more than happy to uh, share my uh, knowledge and wisdom uh, to all of you please feel free to um, drop in a comment with your uh, whatsapp number or an email i can reach up to you to uh, to to share my knowledge and wisdom to you um, smile again and thank you very much and namaste to everybody thank you